I'm David. And we are doing our tech reviews. Um, today we are going to be talking about topical admixtures. Ah, good topic. Also known as like finishing aids or troweling aids. Yeah, I, I stay away from finishing aids. Anything that's liquid helps to finish. I mean, water, yeah. whiskey, Yeah, look, oh, you stop it. <laughs> like, like specifically designed, scientifically designed finishing aids. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the lingo in the industry. I least. understand. I understand. I'm, I'm trying to change that. Okay, fair enough. Single-handedly, David can change the world. Um, so, why are we talking about topical admixtures? Well, you know... Here in the lab, we do a lot of work designing mixes. We design specialized mixes. You know, we can go out to ACI 211 and go through the uh, ACI procedures on mixes. Spend a lot of time on that, getting everything just right, just the way it should be. We go out to the plant. We put that in the ready mix truck. We test it at the ready mix plant. Make sure it's what we want. We use uh, ASTM C94, we adjust the ready mix strength for delivery strength, we have the design strength, delivery strength, we get everything just right. We get out on the job and what do we see? We see this. You know, I don't want to put any priest out of work, but I don't want to see, I don't want to see blessing of the concrete out on the job site. Well, and with all the work that you do to get to that point, the problem with blessing the concrete, and that's that's when they spray water on the surface to that's be right. able to finish it. Um, you know, if they take too long or it's a particularly sticky mix, they want to get some of that workability back so that they can easily finish it, which, I mean, that's understandable. Yeah, it's that got, being said, it's got to be finished. It's I mean, got to be finished and it's got to look good. It's got to look good. We've got to have a way to finish it on right. in the field. But You whoop. put that water on and you're going to run into all kinds of problems on that surface. It's going to decrease the durability. Right. It's going to just get it. Oh, go ahead. We all know about water and concrete. We have a water cement ratio. And so we try to hold that so the water cement ratio is as low as possible so we can get as high a strength as possible. Right. So if we're going to add a bunch of water to the surface, we're going to raise the water con water cement content at the surface. Right. Lower the strength at the surface. Right. And that's what really needs to be the strongest to be able to protect the rest of the slab. What does John say, Dr. Belkowitz? The surface is the first line of defense Absolutely. for your concrete. Absolutely. So, in lieu of using water, and we know it's free, we know it's easy, we know it's readily available, um, but it's really not free with the issues that you run into later. That's so, right. So, keeping that in mind, using some sort of topical admixture, spraying it on the surface. Right, David, you're a pro at that. Oh, yeah. I, I know spray. He loves spray. to spray. So, we're just going <laughs> to spray it out evenly on the surface. It, makes a nice, even, consistent layer for us. Well, and then in a lot of cases, I mean, they're, they're scientifically designed. They have to go through a whole slew of tests to be able to be specified. And many states do specify them and actually prefer that you use them. But then in a lot of cases, there's nano enhancement. So you're really like even adding extra strength and extra protection to the surface instead of making it weaker. Boy, yeah, I know, you know, here in our lab, we do a lot of tests with the topicals. Right. You know, we do uh, standard abrasion, the roller abrasion, which is like warehouse floors and right. traveling um, forklifts and whatnot. We do underwater, underwater. abrasion, right. which is different barrier condition. It's like rocks and sand tumbling uh, over the concrete surface. We do rebound testing. We do rebound testing. We do pull-off testing right. and like resilient floors. You know, you've got to be able to see what the strength is there. So. Right. Rebound and pull-off are both strength tests. Right. Both tension for strength the surface. tests for the surface. Right. So they are all fit together to make a better surface, which is what we need. Absolutely. So there's definitely pros. I think the biggest hang-up though is that water is free and it, it takes planning and money to be able to have topical admixtures on site. And I think that's why they're used so infrequently. Yeah. I mean, let's say water is cheaper. It's not free. In the beginning. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, you know, it, when I lived in Lakewood, we paid a dollar sixty-five per thousand gallons. Sure. I mean, you still have to, sure. haul, have to haul it out there. That's so true. It's transport cost. I mean, you have to have some way of dealing with it. The labor's more intensive with with the water. Absolutely. As, it, as opposed to a sprayer. We don't want to put those priests out of business. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> no, but I mean, when it comes down to it, you're definitely getting, you're either paying for it up front or you're paying for it in the end. And with water, 
it definitely seems that it's, you know, you're losing that strength, you're, you're losing that durability, and you're making the concrete a lot more susceptible to abrasive wear, yeah. um, chemical and physical attack. So yeah. to your point, I mean, you have to pay more for a bottle of top of lab measure up front. than you have to pay for a bottle of water. So that, right. that's the point you were making, and that point is for sure right. But in the global picture, in the long-term picture for the concrete, it's full life. In the end, it's actually going to be cheaper. Yep, it's saving a lot of money. Saving a lot of money. And a lot of hassle. A lot of maintenance. It's going to save a lot of money Absolutely. in the end of life cycle. Absolutely. All right, well, that was it for our tech review today. Go concrete. Beat asphalt. Have a great day. <laughs>